Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. This is Marco from Gallery Play, and today I'm going to be showing you how to loop your time lapse seamlessly using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. To begin with, what we want to do is we want to import our time lapse. As you can see, I have actually uh, already assembled my time lapse and exported it as a video file. So all I need to do is import this and drag it onto this new item icon here at the bottom in order to create a new sequence with the original video's settings. Now that I've done that, um, I can see here that it's appearing on the timeline and it's actually a little bit long. So my, my time lapse is 12 seconds. We usually recommend a length of 10 seconds or less. The reason being that a lot of our clients actually license this kind of content in order to use it as wallpaper on their websites. And it's in their interest for the, the, the clips to be short, the file sizes to be small so that their website keeps loading quickly. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the length of this clip to just under 10 seconds, as you can see here. And now I'm going to select my razor tool from this menu over here. And I'm going to split this original clip into two. It doesn't really matter where you split it. You can do it right down the middle. And then what you want to do is you want to move this first clip that we've now created by splitting the original onto the upper track and you want to reverse the order of these two, leaving a little bit of an overlap just here at the end. 20, 25 frames a second or so should be sufficient, but uh, this can also be tweaked later, so don't worry too much about that. Um, what you want to do next is you want to fade in this upper clip, okay? And the easiest way to do that in Premiere Pro is to right click and apply a default transition, which in most cases will be the cross dissolve. Now, one thing to be wary of here is you want to make sure that the length of the fade does not actually exceed the overlap as it does here, because what will happen is that you will start to see the, the background layer shining through because the opacity has been lowered here. So make sure that the transition is no longer than the actual overlap itself. And that's pretty much it. Um, what we can do now is we can set our in and out points at the beginning and at the end of the video. And if you go to this wrench tool over here and select loop, um, the, the content on the timeline, the video will actually be played back in a loop so that we can check whether this loop is seamless. And it's coming up to the transition here. That's looking pretty good. Um, you can't really tell where the clip begins and where it ends. The transition is pretty much invisible to the naked eye. There is no hard cut or jump cut. This time lapse gives the appearance of being endless. And that's it, it's now ready to be exported. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you have a lot of this kind of content and you'd like to monetize it, do apply to Gallery Play. Uh, simply go to www.galleryplay.com slash application and send us a few examples of your work. We're always uh, looking for new creators to collaborate with, uh, to add to our roster of loop experts. And we look forward to seeing your time lapses.